Hey guys, Red Vipers here, and welcome back to episode 2 of Ticket Classic. So, as you can see, I have built myself a bit of a house while I wasn't recording. I didn't think it'd be too exciting to watch, really. Me. It's not a very extravagant house, it's just simple. Because we're starting off, picked up most of these materials on the way while I was looking for a nice area. And I decided on this area because it's an, it had a nice area to build here. Also, we have water neighbors, which can be useful. I planted those sugar canes, by the way. Um, it has a... Ex is it not extreme hills, but uh, I think it's extreme hills or whatever it is. Is it mountainous biome? Over that way. And it actually has a forest biome, as you can see, just over there. So, we're good for wood. Anything that might be underneath the mountainous biome, I don't think it increases the chance of emeralds or anything like that. But we've also got some oil over there, which we may need later on. And, as you saw in the last episode, we collected a few sticky, um, no, not, not sticky, rubber tree saplings, and I've planted a few of these, and now, to get sticky resin, as you see, I've already collected them a bit after I planted them, so, like, they, they normally grow, like, normal trees, and I've just mined off the leaves on them, because it makes it a lot easier to harvest sticky resin like that. Now, for this episode, we are going to be trying to make a macerator and a generator. The reason for this is because a macerator will turn any ore into dust, and then you can smelt that dust and get an ingot from each dust. So we're basically doubling our productivity. But we also need to make a generator to power the macerator. So for a macerator, we need three flint, which we've got a machine block. Now that requires eight refined iron and you get refined iron by smelting iron again in the furnace and it gives you refined iron but the main thing that we need to get is a electronic circuit. So get one of these you need copper cable which you need rubber for and copper that's why we need the sticky resin as when you smelt sticky resin you get rubber we need some redstone, which we've got, and refined iron, and then we should be able to make the macerator. So we'll just harvest up this sticky resin. So the sticky resin will slowly... Well, I wouldn't really say it's really slow, but it's not the fastest of things to sort of respawn on the logs. But it does respawn on logs, and you have to have a special tool called a tree tap. To harvest it. Now, tree taps are very expensive, really. Uh, I need to make another one, so you craft them like this, and they don't have a massive amount of durability on them, but it's pretty good. It's only five bits of wood, and rubber is quite essential because with a lot of the crafting recipes, you will most likely need a electronic circuit, or you will need to at least power some machines by transporting the electricity through cable. Now at the moment we are we are we aren't very high up so we won't be able to afford the very high tech cable like class fiber but copper cable we need. Now copper cable is pretty good at um, transporting electricity, but it loses a lot of uh, long distances, so if you have used copper cable, you don't want to have it over long distances or you will lose a lot of power. So now we've got our sticky resin, we're going to smelt it so we get our rubber. So let's put it in here, I need to get a bit more coal. Now we'll need quite a lot of coal as well for the um, generator because you require a genera generator to power the machines like I said and you need to generate electricity with coal with a generator as you would expect most likely so when this smelts you'll see that this will give me a piece of rubber and we need that rubber for the cable but at the minute we can make the machine block 
like I say, to get refined iron, you just smelt iron again, basically, and that's how you craft a machine block. You don't need a block, in, you don't need another piece of refined iron in the middle, so, which I think is quite good, it's only eight, and like all the other blocks, like iron blocks and that, you can craft them back. But for this, we will need a machine block. Now, let's see, how's it going? We're going to need six, let's wait for that. We're going to need at least six pieces of rubber to make the cable. And we're also going to need some copper. We need, I want to smell as little amount of items as possible because, like I say, with a macerator, we will get double our output so instead when we put this in a macerator it will give us every ore it will give us two copper dust and then the copper dust can be put into a furnace and it will give us a copper ingot whereas if you just smelt it normally you will just get one copper ingot for one copper ore which you probably expect it also works with vanilla items like iron and gold. Like you see I made some rubber earlier because when I was setting up the, um, the rubber tree farm over here I just harvested the rubber while I was at it. Like I say I like them like this because it makes it very easy to harvest the rubber off them. So let's see we should have got, we should have enough rubber and we should have enough copper so yeah we've got our copper and let's see we've got we definitely got enough rubber so I'll place a rubber on like this and that will give us six copper cables now let's just remind ourselves we need six copper cables two redstone and a refined iron to make an electric circuit so let's make that so we're gonna need the two redstone oops like that, and then the copper cables, like that. Now what else do we need? We need two cobble and a flint. I've got the cobble and the flint already, so two cobble like that, the flint across the top, and there we go, we've got our macerator. Now we don't want to place this down until we've made an item called a wrench which will mean that we can get it back, else it will just give us a machine block if we mine it like normal. So now we want to make a generator to power this, or it will be useless. So we're going to need an iron furnace, I'm going to craft it like that because it's less resource intensive. We only need, it's costing you two more iron for eight cobble, so you may as well make it like this. So we've got our iron furnace, we also needed three refined iron, so let's get some iron. Like I say, you need to smelt the iron again to get refined iron, and we are also going to need some tin for the battery. I think you need four tin, I'll just check in a minute, just let that finish. And then we'll just put that in, just in case. It should be found without it though. So, we're going to need three iron. We've already got the iron furnace, and we're going to need a battery. For some reason, it doesn't let me click on the battery because it's showing that it's already charged. For some reason, it doesn't like it. So, I will just type in separately. And you see, I can't click on that because it's charged. You see the crafting recipe, but if I click on that, I can. So, we need four tin, another piece of copper cable. So, we're going to need some make some more copper cable and two redstone so that's nearly our tin ready um, we're going to need to get a bit more copper out, out of it as well so we're going to need some more cable so we've got that and we've got our iron well wait we need to smell that again because we need three refined iron remember so I can put, I'll put those bones back there. So, uh, how's that going? We've got two copper. And once this is finished smelting, we can then make some more copper cables, which 
we are going to need for the battery, as you just saw. A little bit of lag there, but doesn't matter. So there we go, we've got six more copper cables. And there's a three refined iron. So, ooh, we need a bit of redstone again. So to make the battery that we need for the generator, it's two redstone, then tin like this, and then a piece of copper cable on the top. So now to make a generator, just arrange them like this with the refined iron like that. And there we go, we've got our generator. Now to sleep. So we're, I think I'm going to set the generator up over here and put the macerator here next to it. So normally if it's more than a block away you would have to put cables to it to transfer the energy, but because it's right next to each uh, because it's right next to it, we should be fine. So, what do we need? Let's. I'll just macerate a stack of iron just to show you. Now, it's quite slow, so we'll get power in this generator. So, the generator will use our coal up to generate electricity. And later on in the game, a bit later on, we will probably stop using the generator because the probably the best source of energy is solar panels. Now solar panels like this with quite a few electric circuits and the generator, but it is basically free energy because you get the energy from the sun. Also, because we've got water near us, we could also make some water mills. These also can produce a good amount of electricity. And there are also, um, I think they're windmills, but you need to be high up for them. I may place a few of those up on top of the mountain if it's windy enough, but I don't know. So as you see, whenever it macerates, it's an R. So now when this gets to the end here, it'll go down by one R, but we, you'll see we get two dust out the other side. So there we go, it's got two dust from it. And I'll just show you that it gives as a ingot for every dust. So we'll just watch this just to prove to you that so watch the number it'll go down to five and we'll have one iron ingot. So there you go, we have now basically doubled the amount of items that we can get from one R. So I'm gonna smell all the stuff and then I will be back. Hey guys I'm back now so as you can see, I have smelted all the items, well not smelted, smelted them after macerating them, so we get double the items. So now we are going to work our way towards an energy condenser. So for an energy condenser we are going to need obsidian, but instead of making a diamond pick, we are going to make a block breaker. What this will do is it will basically break any block that you want, you just power it with the redstone signal and it will break the block which it is pointing at. So this will save us three diamonds which we may need and it will be more useful as I don't know what else we're going to need a diamond pick for apart from getting obsidian as we have the um, emerald, sapphire and rubies that we can make. So to make a block break, we're going to need an iron pick. So let's get a little bit more iron. Just have the whole thing. So it's just like a normal, it is just a normal iron pick, nothing special, no mod item. And we're going to need a piston. So iron, the redstone, some cobble, and then the wood. I think we're going to need another bit of redstone. Because, yeah, so redstone there and then cobble. So, arrange it like this. Put the cobble along the side. And there we go, we've got a block breaker. So to power it, I'm going to get a... Oops, wrong way, I was doing that. I'm going to make a lever. And I'll be back when I... Uh, when I've got to a lava pit basically, I'm going to go find one. I'll oh, find the ravine that I was in that had a lot of obsidian in because I put a lot of water down. So guys, as you can see, I am now at the obsidian. 
one thing I forgot to craft that I realise I think I need is a screwdriver. This will make me be able to turn around which way the block breaker actually faces. It's not a very resource intensive to stick a bit of iron. So we're going to place the block breaker down and, oops, do want to place the lever there. We want it, I think it's like that, with a little hole at the top. So let's see. Yes, so uh, that broke, oops, skeletons. Kill them. So that broke the block of obsidian beneath it, you'll see. I'll smine it so you can see. So there you go, it mined the block and we didn't need a diamond pick. So it's basically just saved us quite a lot of resources. So you always want it so the little hole is at the top as that's where it spits the items out. And so oops, don't know what happened then. I think that was just a bit of a bug. Don't know why it popped back out at me, but it did. Where did my level go? He went there. Oh, another skeleton, really? Bones are quite useful though for whenever we go around the trees and that. And they do actually have quite a lot of EMC for a bone. 144, so not bad, is it? Let's replace the bones with the block breaker. Did it again, I think it's something to do with how close I am stood to the block. Could be. I don't know, maybe just a bit of a bug would take it. So let's see, how much obsidian do we need? We are going to need a energy. So, oh, some bit, damn it, no. God, oh, we nearly got killed then. Oh, I was trying to exit and I hadn't, I hadn't actually clicked on this. See, I was got so many E's. So, we're going to make an energy condenser, so we need four obsidian. And then we're going to make that. So that should be enough obsidian. And I'll cut back to when I'm back at the house. So guys, I'm now back at the house and we're going to start crafting the energy condenser, which needs a alchemical chest. So we're first going to start with making the covalence dust that is created like this with the cobblestone and the is it charcoal, did it say? I think we can just use coal. If we can't, I'll just have to make some charcoal, but... Ah, it's charcoal. Um, let's see. Oops, it's night. We'll just sleep in the bed, and then we'll get a piece of wood. So I've just slept. And I'm just going to get another piece of wood. <laughs> oh, looks like Sam's left us a present, because that tree wasn't here before. Well, I think you can make charcoal out of jungle wood. Well, he uses presents, or present to, well, get us some charcoal. I don't know if he meant to help us, but he has just now. So, thank you, Sam. So, we're going to smelt this piece of wood. So, we needed some converse, which was charcoal. So there we go, we've got our charcoal, and we're going to put the charcoal there, put the cobble, and there we go, we get 40 covalence dust from it, and now we're going to need some blue covalence dust, which is a iron ingot and some redstone, so a piece of redstone, there we go, we've got the blue one, and I'm pretty sure this is the expensive one that needs a diamond, yep. But at least we'd have to get another piece of charcoal. <laughs> Oops, I don't want to leave them on the floor. Definitely not. So we've got, uh, got our diamond and our charcoal, uh, I mean our coal. Not charcoal this time, uh, which is good. So what else did we need? So we're going to need two stone, which shouldn't be too hard. Start smelling it now. Put a piece of coal in there in case. So, we also need a chest, a diamond, and two iron ingots. So, we'll make the chest. There we go. We've got the two iron ingots and get a diamond. 
and we've got the stone bit like then and right so I think it's a diamond there the, let's see if I can remember it then is it that that covalence dust that covalence dust and the two stone and then the two iron yes I remembered it right so that's how you crafted it and now to make an energy condenser we're going to use the alchemical chest for our obsidian and four diamonds so it is quite expensive but if you guys have ever used one, you'll understand why, and if you haven't, you will see why soon. So, there we go. And there we go, we've got our energy condenser. Uh, I think I'm going to place it here, let's have it over here. So, how energy condensers work is, say, say we just want another piece of cobble. Now, you see that that rotten flesh has an EMC value of 24. We put this in, and there we go got 24 cobblestone because it, uh, one cobblestone is one EU and the rotten flesh was worth 24 EU and that's how we get lots of items so we can also change our tungsten for diamonds so with an energy condenser you always need at least one of the item so as you'll see because it's worth 16,000 we should get two diamonds yeah there four six eight Ten. There we go. We've got ten diamonds. Which I've got to say, I think that's pretty good. We got eleven diamonds now. We'll just put our covalence just in the chest. Uh, we've got any other things we don't need? Yeah, the one flesh and the bones. Let's put these in there. Not the iron. We'll put them in. And then, and as you can see, it's slowly filling up the bar. When that bar gets full, it will give us another diamond. But guys, thanks for watching. This is the end of this episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. For more, subscribe, and I will see you later.